All right, everybody. Welcome back to our newest episode of Monster Prom. Here it is right now, and it's Zephoria's turn to start up lunch period. And we know which table I'm going for. No, don't ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> go, go date your man. Okay. <laughs> You find Damien brandishing his usual silverware, a hammer and chisel, while Liam looks on in horror. <laughs> you can't eat that. <laughs> Watch me! First of all, it's made of one seamless piece of obsidian. And? So it's low calorie. And second of all, it is a lich's phylactery. Part of this balanced breakfast. It's lunch. You're just jealous. He's no, so I'm jealous. nervous. Nervous that you're going to eat that, get possessed by a lich, and kill us all. He is really jealous. Yeah. Like this whole playthrough. Well, I'm nervous. That's not going to happen. Looks like these two are at an impasse. Maybe you can solve the dispute and score some romantic cred at the same time. Hopefully. Damien, don't eat it. You won't have room for all the baby seals I brought you. Or Liam's right, Damien. You should make him eat it. Oh, Ooh, yes. This is a tough one. Torture Liam. Torture, Torture Liam. Liam. All right. Clicking. <laughs> Yeah, he likes it. <laughs> yeah, of course. I forgot about the golden rule. Do unto others. Whatever the hell you want because it's funny. Yeah. What? No, this is an outrage. I don't even eat food, let alone inedible objects suffused with eldritch magic. Well, it was the first time for everything, Dracula loser. Bang. Down the hatch. Damien force feeds the dread artifact to Liam. He's instantly possessed with the dark energy as opposed to his normal morose energy. Mm -hmm. I am the lord of the night. The hearsay arc of ice devourer of joy. Yeah, <laughs> what a nerd. Liam has to go to the nurse's office to get the curse removed while you and Damien rob a bank to celebrate. Nice. Um, you might have money. Sure. Did you get money? No. No. <laughs> we just robbed money. it. We didn't take you the money. We just robbed it. All right, I'm going to go sit up. I'm spending a lot of time with Vera in this Right. Program. You arrive at Polly and Vera's table to find them eating. Wait, both of them? I sure do love food. I'm eating. Look at this food go in me. Hmm, <laughs> mm, yes, this cafeteria sloppy joe truly has a subtle flavor profile. See, she's wearing a ghost coat. Mm hmm. I do like to Finally, eat her. you notice the cause of this absurdity oh. a well dressed businessman sitting at the next table watching both women intently. Oh, yeah, I know you like this, baby. My eating is realistic and erotic. <laughs> Dude, Polly, marry me. <laughs> Be cool, Polly. The man wants to pay us for eating in front oh. of him, not screaming about eating. Is this not what eating is? I forget. It's been a while. While Vera tries to explain <laughs> eating to Polly, the businessman shyly approaches you and gives a small bow. He's watching them eat, huh? Much obliged, friend, he says in a soft voice. Are these two fine ladies your friends? Oh, they're fine, and they're my friends. I must confess that I have searched far and wide for a suitable candidate to fulfill my rather unusual fetish. Paying a student at a high school for, mo uh, for monsters to eat food while I watch politely from a distance. Mm-hmm. But I find myself unable to choose which one of these beauties to hire. The snake-headed one <laughs> possesses a certain grace. She's super close to the mic. <laughs> Yeah, pay me, motherfucker. Pay me to do a thing I was going to do anyway. Oh, God, be still my heart. <sighs> no, I gotta go after Polly this one. <laughs> that, that almost won me over right there. <laughs> but the translucent one has such passion. I don't even want the money. This is just fucking weird and I love it. <laughs> In your opinion, the businessman finishes. Which would be... <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing, Jables. <laughs> Which would be a wiser choice for my part. <laughs> I hope that's good on the caption. Yeah, it'll be fine, I'm sure. The Gorgon, obviously. Look how many mouths she's got on her head. The ghost, for sure. I've never seen someone eat so convincingly. I want the ghost for myself. Right? So I don't know. But I don't know. <laughs> or is he going to pay her? I guess he's going to pay her, but... Who will be the... The um, fuel for my fetish, Javos. I'll give, I'll give the ghost to her, so because that'll make her feel happy, right? So maybe. The businessman nods thoughtfully. Oh, that's a... You know, you're right. Never before have I believed so fully that someone was actually eating real food. Yep, that's me eating real food with my real mouth and teeth. Are you kidding me? That's convincing you. 
The food is falling right through her body onto the floor. Don't hate me just because I'm efficient at eating. <laughs> what? Am I cracking it up, Jibbles? Do I need to eat more? <laughs> Don't worry, I hate you for other more private reasons. What? Sorry, can't hear you. Too busy eating real food. <laughs> <laughs> you team up with Polly to make her eating even more realistic. Oh, she passes her food through her body to you and you eat it for her. Ooh. It's pretty hot. We're like doing the ghost thing. I'm inside her. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Let's try places. Everyone chooses an animal. Say a choice uh, out loud. Cor Rhino. Corgi. Player order is dedicated to how intriguing a new Game of Thrones house would be if it had the selected animal as its sigil. Uh, Rhino or Corgi. Okay. Yeah. I'll... It'll be more interesting. Okay. Rhino's cool, but a, a corgi house <laughs> for go. Game of Thrones. Let's go. Okay. I I need to up my boldness as much as I can. Boldness? Is, that, is it still boldness? All right. Yeah. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because you respect no authority. While in the bathroom you tell yourself in the mirror that you're so bold you would kill a tiny big-eyed turtle with your bare hands. <laughs> That monstrous act would instantly give you 500 bucks. Nice! But come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. What merit in that? You know what? You can keep two boldness for saying that to yourself out loud. Nice. Afterwards, Damien comes up and punches you affectionately in the shoulder. Nice! Oh, that's actually third base for him. Hey, asshole, go to hell! Like, literally, my house is in hell and I'm inviting you over. Don't read too much into it. Only one problem. In order to get there, you kind of have to damn your immortal soul. Okay. So Let's how about it? it? What kind? What crimes against God and man will you commit so we can stab can God with a man? <laughs> uh, I think I'm already damned. Looking into your eyes feels so good; it must be a sin, or I'll run over a bunch of nuns with a lawnmower. That's super romantic. Right. I feel like he's probably gonna like that one more. Right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <I'll>, uh, mm. <laughs> that's a yeah, really good line. But it, it is, but let's let's go with the nuns. nuns I are... think. Oh, Darn it. not so bold. I should have flirted. Been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, did it again, got the t-shirt covered in nun's blood, had to buy another t-shirt. Is that seriously the most creative way you could come up with the kill It was the only mountains? creative thing it gave me. What about a giant magnifying glass? Plague of centipedes, rice somehow. Oh, he did say that love was like the most hardcore thing earlier. No. <laughs> come on, use your imagination. I can't believe I even invited a loser like you to my sweet hell house. I'm sorry, David. Dejected, you go out nun hunting anyway. But nunting just isn't the same without love to I motivate now have it. negative two money. You lose two charm and one money eh, for I had bail. too much charm anyway. You, you owe so much money. Um, sure. Uh, sure. Um, I'm worried he's not gonna go out with me. I got, I got money and fun, or boldness and fun. I'm gonna get more money to end it. Why not? Lovecraftian Prince needs your assistance. That day, you spend some time in the library PCs, sending malicious <laughs> spam emails in hopes of stealing other people's money. I'm a Lovecraftian Prince. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? Oh. You lose 10 karma, which is not shot on the screen, and gain two money. You now have... Two money. Yep. <laughs> Quadruple the amount I have. <laughs> Literally, infinitely more money than you. You could start doing something productive, or you could put on your blanket and get up to some good old ghost names. Yes, let's go through that. You're looking for someone, but you run into the person that might finally see through your ghostly deception, apart from going Liam. <laughs> Hiya! Hiya! Wait, what's this? Another ghost? No, I, I can't believe this. No Finally, somebody else notices. This is clearly just Jables wearing a- I can't believe it's because it's just so cold to be <laughs> Jables, you're a ghost? <laughs> Come on, it's not cool or true. Shh, Liam. I can hear our cool- I can't hear our cool new ghost friend over your jealous hair. Dude, Liam hates me. <laughs> He's so jealous. So tell me, how did you die? We have to share so much ghost gossip or ghost chap as I like to call it. Hmm. A good question. Time to imp improve a lie with another bigger lie. Dude, my life story. I was offered the sacrifice to the god of party. I only tell how I died on the third day. Boo. Ghost wink. I 
I feel like it's this one, but I kind of went to the ghost wing. Yeah. All right. What? Not so charming. That's probably just a big lie. I thought you were just some idiot who decided to wear a blanket to and imitate a ghost. Finally. Then you died in a stupid way, like asphyxiating under the blanket. And then you were cursed for dying in such a stupid way with the ironic punishment of having to wander the world under the very realistic ghost look. You are literally a ghost. You know what ghosts are supposed to look like. I know that. I know what this sexy ghost looks like right now. Disappointed. Bye. I lost some time. <laughs> and she phases out. I swear, you're making my life miserable, you blanket-wearing moron. Your life is miserable now. You've totally uh, lost two fun and one charm. Oh no. That's the last day, isn't it? Yep. Oh wait. I think so, yep. I'm not, I don't have enough fun. Let, wait, let, it's, let, it's me. Oh, it's let, you, let's, right? Yeah. That was, yeah, go ahead. So, I don't have enough fun for her anymore. Let's let's see about this, and then... Yeah. Let's go. I'm so sad. I lost the Drum last roll. two fun. You finally plug up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Prom? With you? No! What? No! I have more fun setting ants on fire, which is what I'll actually be doing on prom night. Setting ants on fire is rad. Get a life. Now get out of my sight. Uh, I thought I only suck. What? I thought oh. I only messed up once. Oh, you messed up a couple times with them. What a loser. <laughs> After that, you were forced to abandon your home and join the underground society of sad people who couldn't get a date for Monster. No! I'll probably see you there. Probably. Which is a fancy way of saying you had to live the rest of your life in the fucking sewers. Gross. Um. <laughs> Sure. I lost the little bit of fun that I needed. I think hey, look fun. at you. It's my favorite ghost other than myself. <laughs> that was unexpected. Prom? Sure. We can go and do lots of ghost things. Seriously? Dancing, getting drunk as fuck, having socks. Does she have the remotest idea of what thing that I'm supposed to be ghost at you? <laughs> Ghosting! Whoa. Prom night is the best goat state Whoa. ever. Of course you fail to see what the difference is between a ghost date and a regular dress. date. But that's beside the point here. You score with Polly, and all I took was wearing a stupid blanket with two holes cut in it. It saved me. Yep. The sheet saved the me. The sheet saved ya. I didn't have enough fun for her, but the sheet did it. Yes! I got it twice! Oh, uh, it's a secret ending then. Huh? Yeah. Most likely to devour his own children to survive. The world is just a canvas for you to set on fire. Yeah, I got a secret ending. Uh, 17 new events and 17 new outcomes. I can't believe this and, happened. Wow. Okay, How well. How could this happen check. to me? <laughs> I made my mistake. Yes. Got nowhere to run. <laughs> Those three Let weeks. Let that ghost run. As I am fading away. Because I'm a drunk ghost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Like it always does, life happened and it was wonderful. Yep. Damien and Scott teamed up and took second in National Pokemon Tag Tournament. The crowd was amazed. Their Pokemon team did taxes as if there was no tomorrow. It was a thing of beauty. I thought it was. Polly's drug cooking skills proved useful and she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry. Well. But in her free time, she still cooks the real shit. Yeah! Her greatest invention so far, watermelon flavored ecstasy and a thing called LS Dope. Say, yeah! Say, say LS Dope. LS Dope! Yes. Vera kept on being fierce, strong, and stunning. Some <laughs> haters once said adult life would put that mean bitch in her place. Yeah! But you know what? Vera ended up making adult life her own bitch. For those three sure. weeks, Monster Prom seemed like larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in the war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid. And totally jogged! <laughs> we were ready to start! <laughs> so high! Alright, let's do it. We got this copyrighted song that we might have. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? That was fun. Make sure you check out uh, our playthrough of Monster Prom on, on Zephoria's channel down there below in the links in the description. Yep, I love I, that one. If I made your ears bleed from yes. Polly's voice, don't worry, I only did yeah. it once in our playthrough. Yeah, there. she only popped up once there. So I hope you enjoy it. And um, without spoiling anything, this was an ending, and there's a different ending on, on her channel. We yep. have different characters and everything. Check it out there. I hope you enjoyed this because I sure as hell enjoyed playing it. And let us know if you want us to play the DLC or maybe yep. do some other runs. Or the sequel when it comes out. Yeah. Uh, I'll be answering the comments since uh, it's still a small channel. So if you leave a comment, I'll do my best to answer it. 
Oh, Cry did both Liam and Oz. Is that right? Huh. I thought he just did Oz. Dude, I'm all about Polly now. Like, you've made her come alive for me. You like her more than Vera now? Uh, I don't know about more. I like her different. That's a cute. (laughs) That's cute. (laughs) Yeah, we're fighting! Fast as fuck! Oh my god, (laughs) fuck! (laughs) Well, this was a fun uh, fun game, and I'd be willing to play even more, honestly, if you guys were interested in that. We could do... If you want us go to do a thing stuff, where, like, yeah. we we both go over the same character and fight over Ooh, who yeah, does that better. Be fun. That might be fun, too. Block each other Because I, I think if we, like, answer similar questions, they'll pop yeah, up wherever we go. So. You're my kind of danger. Oh, look at happy ending for Jables. And you did it! Not quite a happy ending for <laughs> Zephoria. No. What do we get? New stuff in the game. No happy right. endings have. We have that new ending. Classic. Oh. And yeah, yeah you can. have to click variation. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wait, look. how are the variations for this one? Oh, okay, it's just you it's can... A, you can either be her or, or Polly for either, the ghost Either ending. one. <laughs> Nobody else. That's great. Okay, what else do we got for ending? Yeah, that one. Oh. Oh, you could have ended with her. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, have. everybody could have ended right, up okay. with anybody. Sure, sure, fine. God, calm down. <laughs> That's new. Just yeah, that. you're my kind of danger. More art. We looked at, uh, we looked through more of this on, um, on her channel and her videos, so you yeah, can... Yeah, so if you want to see more of them in-depth. Look at more, yeah, more in-depth, uh... Ooh! That's a neat little 3D model of the yeah. school. And a little bit oh. of Oz. Oh. Oz is early design. I like them with fluffy hair. Yeah. <laughs> and the new one. Ooh! That's a good one. Oh. I like that fan art. I might have to check out these uh, people's yeah, Twitters and there, Tumblr's. Yeah, there you go, Tumblr. And there's uh, another fan art. And there's another one. Check out those people. This is a really cool one. Right? I like that one a lot. Well, that's what we got to for you today. So, I hope you enjoyed our playthrough of Monster Palm. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you liked the video, subscribe. Like it. You know the whole the yeah. whole thing. Smash Share the them. like button. Smash that like button. And uh, check out more videos in my channel and on Zephoria's channel. Yeah. All right? We'll see you guys next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Guys, 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 guys.